the sun's in my eyes. If you say, you say, I am very lucky. Now f Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian. I help people empower their lives. Let me hear you on this beautiful morning. I hope your day is going great. I hope your evening is going great. Whatever time you're watching this video, I hope you are feeling great. I hope you're being great. I hope you're doing great. I hope you are great. Oh, that was a nice camera angle. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about manifestation. And you might not know what it is. It sounds like a scary word. It's a very good word. Essentially, what you want in life, you can have. You want to be rich and successful, you can have it. You want to have the love of your life in your, in your world, you can have it. If you want to run a business, you can do it. I believe in the law of attraction, and I know it's there. It's a law, it works. But mainly I'm focusing on manifesting. Now manifesting is part of the law of attraction. And the biggest thing to understand with the law of attraction is that it's always working. The law of attraction is always working. If you say affirmations don't work, that is an affirmation, and you're attracting more of affirmations not working. If the sun's in my eyes, if you say, you say, I am very lucky, now think back to a time when maybe one of your friends, there's always one of the friends in the group that is just the lucky one, that always seems to win things, always seems to get things, always seems to get away with things. And they always say, I'm just lucky like that. Now the more people that are saying it behind them, so for example, in the group of friends, if they say, I'm just lucky like that, and all of the other friends say, yeah, you are, they're reaffirming to them that they are lucky and they will therefore receive more luck. They will receive more good fortune, things like that. The thing is, you can manifest things very simply and my, I don't want you to go and try and manifest a million pounds or a new car or a new house or a new love of your life straight away. Start small because it's like going to the gym with anything. It's, it's like going to the gym, absolutely everything is. Start small. Over time, you will build more belief. The more belief you build, the easier it is for it to work. So, the way that I started, I started manifesting parking spaces. I started manifesting little things. I kept a list of the things that I had been given from as little as when people would buy me a sandwich, from as little as when people would buy me a drink. And in total, I was manifesting a lot of money. I was manifesting a hell of a lot of money when I looked at it, the prices that it came to. So, I was very lucky and I realized that. And then it reaffirms the belief reaffirms the belief, reaffirms the belief. I'm gonna say a little manifestation story that happened in my life and something that I'm very grateful for. I've got many manifestation stories. I've got loads, so many different ones. But my favorite one is probably, I'm gonna start with one of my first, I've got two that I'm gonna start with. These are my first two that I saw a huge impact. And I was like, oh my God, it actually works. The first one was I was, I didn't have a job and I still had car payments. I literally just quit my job because I was gonna be a millionaire, that was my plan. If you watched the last video, I explained the fact of what I did to get onto my millionaire paths, which never really happened and failed miserably. But I'm on my way now and that's all that matters. Load of stuff happened with my mum and dad. Now, this is where the yin and the yang comes. So my dad beat up my mum. He told me he was gonna kill himself while he was drink driving. He was just aggressive and very abusive, uh, like mentally. And then he started to get physical towards my mum and that was when it sort of, that's when the, we just said, no, enough's enough, no, we're gone. My grandparents, I, I, I was paying a for my car, because I, I, my old car broke and I wanted to get a new car, so I bought the car that I've got now and I was paying it off monthly. It wasn't a lot of money at all, but I was paying it off. And then because I was, my grandparents said I was doing, I was being so kind and being so helpful to my mum, they offered to pay off the rest of my car. And I was like, oh my God, that's like, that's like 1,500 pounds. It was still a lot of money. And I was like, oh my God, like that's literally, I've, I was manifesting money. Theoretically, I've manifested the money, but it's just come in a different way and it's paid this off. I was going to use it to pay it off anyway. So it worked out. And then a week after that, I was like, right, let me try and manifest 500 pounds as well. Oh my God, no, I've got another one. I've got another good story that you're going to absolutely love. I was like, let me try and manifest another 500 pounds. And my friend called me up and said, do you want to work for this week and my boss will pay you 500 pounds? And I was like, that was exactly how much I asked for. I was like, that's weird. And I was like, that's crazy. And it came. And then one of the other time, I had three pounds and I literally just quit my job. No, I was, I was working, doing building and I had three pounds in my pocket. And my friend wanted to get a McDonald's, so I took him to McDonald's and it was in a services station. There was a casino. 
So I put three pounds in the machine because it was all the money I had in my pocket. I won the jackpot on the machine and I'm standing there pulling 500 pounds out of this machine that I literally put three quid in. There's people next to me putting like hundreds and hundreds of pounds in, not winning anything. And that was where I just literally walked in, got my money, walked out. Ask, believe, receive. That was how it worked. I wasn't attached to it. I didn't need the money. I didn't say I, I need this to happen. But I always believe in doing good with what money you get. So on that way home, I was so excited. And I went, I, on my way home, I spoke to my sister and I was like, look, I want to give you some money. I gave her some money and she said it paid for her oven cleaning to be done and stuff like that. Um, I gave my mum a little bit of money because I was, I was just so so excited and it wasn't a lot of money it's nice to do to give when you've got money or when you've been given money or you win money or, or regardless if you've got money just help people but this guy basically i was driving back home dropped my friend off and when i was driving home oh my god that sun is right in my eyes and when i was driving home there was a guy pulled up on the side of the road and so i got out and i said do you need any help because he had his hazard lights on and he said he was like, yeah, I, I, I just I just can't, my car's just stopped working. And he was like, I just went to go and get a Chinese. He was like, I've got it. And my wife's probably wondering where I am. And he was quite an old guy. I, I remember I got out of the car and I said, I was like, let me try and push the car. And I had smart shoes on, so there was no grip. And I was sliding down this hill trying to push this car. I couldn't push it. And I said, I was like, look, do you want me to, uh, I was like, do you want me to just take you back home? So I took him back home and the guy offered me some money. And I said, I was like, he, it wasn't much. It was maybe like 20, 30 pounds. And he said he was like, here, have some money. And I was like, no, don't worry about it. I just won loads of money on a jackpot, on a, a fruit machine. So I don't, I don't need any money from anyone. I was like, I, I, I appreciate it, but I'm just glad I, um, I'm just happy to give. I was like, just pay it forward. And I remember I said to him, I was like, one day you'll see me. I'll be famous and I, I hope you remember me. Um, yeah, it's just nice to do things with the stuff you get. And when, it, when good starts to come, please be one of those people that just helps people. It, that's all that I can ask. I mean, there's not many things that I ask from you guys. Only, only a couple. One of them is just always spread love and kindness. The other one is help me spread my message because I want to impact as many people as possible. And the third one is just be nice. Just, just help people. Look at the sun. Oh my goodness. So that is the story of um, my few manifestation stories. I mean, I've got many more to this day. Many more, like loads, literally hundreds. And law of attraction is always working. When you just, just start small. Just literally start with a cup of coffee. Start with a text. Start with things that things that aren't too big so because we just start to when we start to raise our vibration to a vibrational frequency we start to attract exactly what's on that frequency and it's like a pitch a tuning fork if you hit a tuning fork and there's another one it will go to that frequency if you start to put yourself on a frequency of love you will start to attract love you will start to if you put your frequency of uh, uh, on lucky or, or wealthy or abundant you'll start to attract wealth and abundance so it all works out, but you deserve it. You're great. You're amazing. Have an amazing day. Keep smiling. Keep spreading positivity. I hope you like this video. I hope you can continue to do what you do best, and that is spread love and kindness. But have an amazing day.